Science tells us a lot about the world, tells us why leaves become green in certain seasons, tells us why the earth moves on an axis, and tells us that ladies can attract a man scientifically. Obviously, this sounds a little bit bizarre, but it's all about igniting his primal instincts, the primal part of the brain that only cares about survival and reproducing. So let's dive in. Here we go. Like and subscribe. Maintain strong eye contact. Eye contact, if held for long enough, can create deep, intimate feelings. If you are able to stare a guy in the eyes for more than three seconds and continuously do this, it's going to trigger that romantic side of his brain. On a subconscious level, he is going to know that you are flirting with him. It might startle him, but he will respond in a way that will let you know he is attracted. So try to maintain eye contact for as long as you can and just watch how flustered he gets. Have a signature scent. Perfume is one way to scientifically attract a guy. You want to appeal to his many different forms of senses as possible and smell is huge. The olfactory nerve responsible for smelling is created at the very base of the brain, meaning this is one of the first things that comes online in our brains when we are born. Therefore, it's a very primal instinct. Automatically, when switched on in the brain, he smells something sexy and flirty. He can't help himself. He wants to go after it. And luckily, most of the perfumes that are sold today do just this. They kind of smell like pheromones subconsciously. So a couple of sprays of your perfume when you are around him lets him know that you are attracted. Subtly mirror him. Mimicry is something we do when we feel close to another human. It's a response that babies have with their mothers. It shows a deep connection between two people to make one another feel safe in that bond. In a natural long-term relationship, partners do the same. They stand in the same way, they talk in the same way. You can jump up on this and start to use this mimicry to your advantage. You can use his slang words, subtly copy his behavior in public. When he picks up his glass to take a drink, you do the same. On a subconscious level, he will feel that he's connected to you, and this will make him see you in an attractive light. You can copy his emoji choices. You can even start ending conversations in the same way that he does. Make sure it's subtle so that you don't risk coming across as a little bit creepy. Wear red, the color of passion. A study from the University of Rochester found that men find women more sexually attractive when wearing red. So wear a red dress when you next see him. This is going to activate the primal brain on high alert, and this teamed up with your great personality and emotional intelligence will get him drooling over you. Laugh more. I'm sure you're already aware of how giggly your skills get when we are around a man we like. It's subconscious and automatic. We can't help it. Science tells us that we laugh to let a guy know that we are in sync to him, that we are responding to all he says in a positive way. This kind of charms him and lets him know that we are most certainly interested. And this also applies to you. Don't reserve all of your happiness just for him. Laugh at memes that you see on your phone when sat next to him. Don't hold back from showing when something makes you laugh or feel happy. A guy will see you as a carefree, easy to date lady when he sees just how bubbly you are when you are not in conversation with him. Men do say that one of the biggest must have traits in their partners is the ability to banter and laughing on your own accord at your own things is one way to show him just that. A higher pitched voice. Not all of us will be able to mimic this. However, if you can, it's worth doing so. Naturally, men are attracted to higher pitched voices as this is a feminine biological trait. If you are able to subtly change the pitch of your voice occasionally, this will turn on the primal attraction brain. You can speak higher when responding to one of his jokes or in a joking way when you are trying to tell him off. Flaunt the curves. Wear something that leaves a lot to the imagination, but also hints at your feminine essence. It could be a tight halter neck dress, something that is subtle, conservative, but enough to get him thinking about you. And if you can also wear something that is red and curve flaunting, well, then you will really drive him wild. Become more familiar. The more familiar that you are with someone, the higher the chance they can become attracted. This is easily done by how often you spend time with someone. Do it in a subtle way so it doesn't feel like you're stalking him, obviously. You can start showing up in places that he is in. For example, if you guys work together, you can make the detour to walk past his station or desk. If you don't work together, you need to find a way to go where he likes to go with his friends. 
For example, maybe he has a favorite coffee or pub that he goes to, you can go there with your friends and accidentally on purpose bump into him. The concept is to become familiar so that he needs to feel comfortable with you. Maybe even you guys chatting a lot online and liking each other's statuses is enough to get that ball rolling. Open up to him. This is not emotionally offloading and talking about workplace trauma. This is you letting him know more about you. Because if you guys were going to see each other on a deeper level, more than what you are now, then obviously he's going to know those vulnerabilities. So offer a sneak peek into a little bit of your vulnerability. You can share childhood dream memories, your plans for the future. Try to open up on a personal level and you will find he will do the same. Overall, creating a sense of closeness between you both, which is the start of attraction. So we open up to our partners and this tip will automatically think of you as his partner. He won't be able to understand why you are suddenly being vulnerable until it twigs that you are comforted by him. He will take this as a compliment and remember, the more that you can get a guy to act like your boyfriend before you date, the higher the chance he will be attracted to you. Show off your best self. Men don't want to deal with hard work, they want a simple life like all of us, right? So make sure he sees how easygoing you are. Show off your best self, be kind, charming, funny, and automatically he will think about what it would be like to date you. This tip teamed up with the rest from today's video will get him more intrigued to know what life would be like if he was your man. Touch him more. Make sure you are subtle. First of all, you want to enter his personal space. See how he responds. If he tries to back away, he's either not interested or startled. So you can begin this process by lingering a little. Maybe sometimes when you are talking, reach out, gently tap his hand when he makes you laugh. Grab his shoulder when he asks you a question and see how he responds to that. If he doesn't respond by moving away, then you are getting good vibes. It means you can enter his personal space a little bit more. Maybe when you pass him something, you can really lean over into him and get close. Get his pulse racing a little and then pull away. You will find that this will overwhelm his brain and he will be a little bit flustered if done right. And remember, the more you ignite his primal brain, the more attraction he will feel for you. Build adrenaline with him. Being together and experiencing adrenaline can bring you both closer. Adrenaline mimics the feelings of arousal and creates bonding memories together. And studies tell us that a man is four times more likely to call a woman back if they experience something scary with her. So book some cinema time together to watch a jump scare movie, go to a theme park together, or arrange adrenaline pumping activities. And this will raise his attraction for you. And there you have it, some many ways that you can scientifically get him attracted. I hope this video has helped. And if I have missed anything out, let me know in the comments below and I will see you very soon. Take care, bye-bye.